Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back. Um, firstly, apologies, it's been a while since I was last working on this, um, but we're gonna try and get a little bit more done if we can here today. So this one's quite a good one because we are basically powering this up, um, which freaks the life, it scares the life out of me because of how thin these wires are, but um, they did say to put, I think they said to put batteries in first, but there's obviously got to be a way that you can get to that with installing it rather than having to strip it down each time to get to it. So we'll see how far we can get on that. So obviously this is the part that we'll need first of all. I think we might have to untangle this. Um, oh gosh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> um, I do, but I mean, you can see how fragile these wiring, this wiring is. Um, it looks, whoops. It looks as if that's been bent, yeah, it's been tangled under there somehow and then they've rolled it. Oh, I see, yep, 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 yep. So first things first, it wants us to get this wire and then we need C5. So C5 apparently, and C5 is a piece that looks like, it's like a flat symbol. Um, yeah, it's this section here, so we need this little part here. Um, I still haven't got the batteries, I've just not had the time to get them. <laughs> I'm a little bit, if you notice, it's very slow on this channel nowadays. It's not as everyday as it used to be, it's, it's, um, I'm getting old. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the part that we need. I'm just going to see if I've got a file. This ain't the right type of file, but just to cut off these burrs. I'm not very well prepared today because uh, I would normally have my grey mat, but uh, daylight's upon us and uh, I don't know where I've put it. So, right, so that's about as much as I can get off. And then what it wants us to do is to, it looks as if they want it with the two wires facing up. It looks like this wire's got to go through the top of here. So, God blimey, this wire really scares me. I know it's like flexible wire, but you just don't know. I can just see them like coming off that thing. But it looks as if the wire's got to come up here it's like spaghetti junction going on here and then apparently that this is like a little base for it if you like so i reckon yeah we just does that push through there or i don't want to force it but i should imagine maybe it's up the other end try that again yeah it's no it does definitely say this end, so, hmm. Unless it goes up that way a bit, but. The problem we've got here is we've got a lump of what looks like glue or something there, so. Don't know how we can get that. I, supp I reckon it's got to go all the way down, but we've got so much of that wax. Oh, there we go. Lovely. So, this is like a little sort of housing for it, if you like. Yeah. So as you can see, you've got access there, so we can get into that quite well. I think that battery's just, this container thing's just popped because the screw is like that. I'm just gonna fix that because I'm not quite understanding why that's done that. Um, it's popped, so just try and repair that. I feel like the repair shop from the TV. <laughs> that, that's what I could do, a channel like repairing things. <laughs> So let me just correct that. Whoops. Screwdriver's drunk. <laughs> so I'll just screw that down there. Okay, so they're then saying that apparently they want it going through D4. So let's get our D4. Where if I put the D4 apparently? So let's have a look on here. We've got C9. D4 is the one we want, um, D4, oh, this is a lovely piece. This is actually a brick effect. Oh, I like that. So we'll get the D4 out. Before I used to like, just like take all the parts out and now I'm like extra. Hang on. 
Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Like, extra... Like, make sure that I don't take them out. Now, I'm assuming we want the pattern side um, going through. And what's going to happen is they want the blank side here. And apparently, we've got to feed this wire through the top of this hole. So... Uh, it's like one of them games, you know, with that, what's it with the magnifying glass thing? And you go right, right, right round, and if you touch right, it's like, and you've got to start from the beginning again. <laughs> you know, um, that Operation Surgeon game as well. <laughs> That's quite funny. And then it looks as like, um, just feed that through like so. And then you can see we've got like a little... A little tab on the end there and that's going to feed into this little tab here like so so we've got to be very careful here in the fact that it should just sandwich on i think that's just broke down a bit there but we can get a bit of glue behind that um if need be um so that's on there so this is quite cool does that mean that that's the base of the tower and it's concealing this Oh, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Okay, lovely. So that's that part done. Then we need to get A1, and this is a flat section. And it's basically one of these two. And we can see here on the diagram that it's got A1 here. So we're going to pick that up. My dad's been messaging and messaging. Have you done it yet? <laughs> because he, um, he bought me this as a birthday gift, you see. So... Uh, try and get that out of there so i'm assuming this is like the walkway section maybe so just going to go around again cut that off all you want to do is just like take that burr off and i mean sandpaper would be better for this sort of thing because this is quite a strange file it's like a triangle sort of shape to it so Okay, and then that, what they want us to do, working on this side, we need to feed up that hole. And what's going to happen is it wants to put the, let's just see where that wire is going. So it looks like the wire is going to be traveling underneath here, maybe, because they're saying that they want that part about there. So that's interesting. The wire is going to be underneath. Oh, this is very fragile. Oh God, um, obviously the wire does need a bit of training here, but right, I've just noticed something that massive blob, this wax is so big that we have a slight problem in the fact that it's not going to allow us to put that on top because it's so big. So I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get that to go in, really. Um, I mean, you would have thought that that would be that way round, but they want it this way round. So, I mean, I can pop it on top, but it's not going to go all the way down because of there's so much of that plastic stuff. It's not having it. It's not having it. Oh, actually, just about. Look at that. So, just about. So, obviously, there's your switch. Um, remember, we ain't got batteries. I quite like the idea that this is running along underneath. That's very That's very cool. Okay, so next, once we've done that, we've got to build, like, a little platform on it. And that consists of D9. So, we need D8, B6, and B11. So, let's get our sprue parts here. So, the first one is D8. So D8 must be on here somewhere, and it's one of these two. I don't think it makes much difference. They both look the same um, parts here. So D8, and then they said that they want B6. So B6, let's have a look here. B must be on this side, yeah. B6 is this one. So I'm looking for B6 here, so it's one of these. 
lovely to be getting some more of this done. I've just, as I said, with work and all that, it's just, I'm finding less and less time to do anything. Um, <laughs> Because I don't film in the evenings no more. I like to film in, you know, natural daylight. And then we need B11, which is this part here. I should imagine, yeah, one of these two. It doesn't matter which one you use because they're both, you know, both the same. So, uh, yeah, um, that's that part. Now, I'm going to talk about something very um, soon. There is a big, big surprise coming to the channel and i think it will some of you will be quite glad to see it back there's a clue <laughs> so i'm going to keep it under wraps for a minute it's already at my relatives and i need to pick it up but i'm not going to say any more than that um it is a blast from the past okay so this part this little part is probably going to go into this little slot here now it's entirely up to you if you want to glue this but to be fair with you it seems to all click in you felt that click there it holds in there quite lovely and then we're going to pop so that's going to go in a minute so that's slanting that way and then it looks like this is going that way and then you've got two tabs here and they will go into these two tabs here so pretty much um a little block mechanism for it so that will go into there that will go into there. Lovely, look at that. Okay, so that's that part done. Next, we need to get D9. And D9 looks as if... Uh, it's D9. Can anyone see D9? Yeah, it's this part here. Lovely. So this is pretty good. Now, you might see this as well tomorrow as well for Friday, because while I'm uh, back in the mo motivation um, <laughs> of getting this done... Um, we'll probably get that a bit, you know, get as much done as possible. So D9 is going to flip up and where we've put this little battery section, like the battery pack for it, if you like, with the printed side, it looks as if we're going to be putting, oh, so they want the plain side, um, this side. So in other words, they want it feeded into these two pegs here. Now, obviously... I've got to watch where I'm putting everything here. I think this may be the walkway system. Um, I've actually walked across that and it's all glass. It's got like glass flooring in that. So that's that little part. And then what it wants us to do is to put the part that we've just done, as you can see, it's got this very interesting, no, it doesn't really matter too much which way you put it round. But it looks as if it wants us to put this part into this little hole that we've got there. So it's basically like a, a layer upon a layer upon a layer. So like you're, you're making a sort of cake, if you like. So um, oh, it's quite a snug fit, that. Um, it's such a... Yeah, I've got the hay fever today. The problem I'm finding with this is that you've not got much in... Ah, I say that and then it goes on. <laughs> now, it will look a bit dro droopified because there's going to be a section that I suppose goes between there and there and locks it in. So, is what we're going to do now. And that, guys, is B... Oh, this is a lovely piece. This looks like a bit of a castle look. So this is B10, and I'm going to get B10 out, so really, really good. So I'll have to send my dad a photo of this tonight, because, um, although he might be at work, because he's a, he's a night manager, so he works through the night um, at Morrison's, so, um, yeah, I'll text him, and then he can see what it looks like. So we've got the printed side, can I just point out as well, but this little rectangle symbol, that means plain side. And then when you've got like this flowery pattern, that means the printed side. So we'll get the printed side here. Yeah, just as I suspected, we've got a hole here and a hole here. That's going to sandwich these two parts together. So a very lovely um, bit in here. And what's nice, you've got this little rand part that's going to interlock the platform here that we've got as well. That's a very cool design. I like that. So I always find it easier to work from the bottom and then prise the top part in. Whoops, let's put that part into there. 
Lovely. Oh, yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. I'm finding it's popping out a bit. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it's just this middle part here just needs to be flush with this piece here. But look at that. That is it. That's like a little elevator moving up in a lift light. So you see that moving up? <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, I like that. And then again, you can just undo that and do the backwards as you wish. Now, the next part, it's not saying anything about wires at the moment. So the next part we are going to be putting on A4. So we've got A4 coming up here somewhere. Where's A4? Let's have a look here. So A4 looks as if, yeah, these are the parts we want. So there's four of these here. So I suppose we've got to do this at the other end as well. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one you do. And just gonna check, there's, uh, that's pretty cool. Look at these little, these little cutout sections. That's lovely. Um, get that out of the way. Bit there. I do appreciate it's very sort of like beach on beach because this is sort of like the same color as this, but I've mislaid my mat and I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> so, with obviously this serrated bit at the top or the jagged part that's going to go at the top and again very simply there and there so i like the way how you see the inner side bits and then it's sort of like all 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 sandwiches up you know so let's put that on some oh what did what was that that's very weak that bottom part is so weak and i don't know why let's try the top bit first all right that's flush so this is the problem with the bottom bit if you, if you can't really maneuver it once it's we'll have to get like a little plier through there or just a little bit of a cocktail stick just to lift that up so that we can push that in. There we go, because that did drop a bit. Lovely, look at that. It's starting to really look the part now, guys. And then we're going to do that exactly the same. It's quite heavy um, as well. So I think I'm going to light it up at the end um, and I'll just risk it not working. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to test it as you go, but you know what I'm like. I like to do it at the end because to me that's like you're defeating the object um yeah that's gone in lovely and that one's gone in perfect so that's the little uh little house section but that does look like the walkway of the top that really does um so that's that section and then of course what will happen is they're saying that apparently the battery is upside down we've still got this wire so what's going to happen now there's going to be these little clips so as you can see, this is probably to hold the wire in place. And there's C2. So I'm going to get my C2s out. And, oh, might have to stop, guys. I need to look for a part. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I found it. So these are the little C2. Ah, oh, this reminds me of when I worked on that little wooden camper van. We had parts like that for the little, you know, the little door handles and stuff. So I've still got to put the roof on that. Um, so yeah. Okay, lovely. So what's going to happen now is that's going to feed. Obviously we need to. Now that's interesting because you've got a light there. So I wonder if this is going to illuminate underneath maybe. Now obviously you will want it straight, but it will still work. Very, very coolly done here. Um, obviously make sure you put it in without, make sure you've got clearance first, um, so that you don't have to, that is so cool, you see this little light, that little granite part in the middle, that pinches the wire for you, that's fantastic, that is absolute, and you see it's all lovely and trained then, and it doesn't matter if like the wires are crisscrossy, because you know, at the end of the day, it's the light here that's going to be lighting up. But that is fantastic. I will have to so show my dad my video because he likes to see how it's made. So 
as you can see, we want to make sure that that, that little line is in that nook and cranny part there. So you see that the line is just about feeding through that little gap there. So that's that section done. Lovely. So I suppose, ah, this is interesting because now what it wants us to do is to feed this wire. It looks like it's going down this hole. So it's not going to hang over the top here. It's going to go right the way down. Very cool. Oh, I like this. I have to get me some more kits to do. <laughs> but you know, he knows my love for London Bridge, so that's cool. So it's going to feed down here somewhere. Any guesses of where you think this might be uh, going to? Let us know in the comments. And then what's going to happen is the part that we did um, with that part facing up there, this is very cool. This wire is now going to feed through the top and that will illuminate all this. You know that paper that we put around? That's going to illuminate that, guys. So as you can see, very, very coolly done. That is absolutely, oh, that's fantastic. So again, we're going to, put, this is going to go right through the top. So we're going to feed that right the way down there. Um, and that's going to come up through here. And I am going to put that down here, all the way we go. And then you can see we've got these one, two, three and four tabs. And then obviously a couple here. And we're only going to be using these four tabs here and then then two there. So you see it's going to go down something like that and pinch through there. This is very interesting because what I have noticed is that one end has the castle and then the other end has that part. So I don't know what's going on, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all to do. And then obviously we're going to turn that round because it looks like they now want us to put a ramp in. So can we just look at the, the, the cleverness of this? They've concealed the battery pack in the tower, so you've got plenty of access here to get in with your batteries. They've hidden this wire underneath. They've hid it all through the tower. That is absolutely, I'll tell you what, I love it. It's really, really nice. Okay, so then what we're going to do is, obviously, we've got this section here. This is part of the ramp that will connect here. Now, what it wants us to do is, you can see in here, we've got these little um apparently it's a pressure direction but you can see this line here i assume that these little holes are going to interlock onto there like so so you've got to have one there and then obviously they want the other one onto there the reason i say pressure point is because apparently we have to pinch it to assemble it's got to go on them locks because that's got to be what articulates it so we're going to pop that and somehow, I'm not, I'm not liking this um, pinching situation. <laughs> so, oh man, I can just see this. Ah, oh, right, this has got a bit of play in it. So I wonder, wonder if that's how it wants it. So pinch on there and then I reckon if we just... See, the thing is, we need to try and get that past that little nugget thing. But uh, I don't know how we're going to do that. Because <laughs> I would say that we need to pinch it from this side here to get that in. But... Oh, such a... I'm stressing that I'm going to break it, so I just need to get that somehow into here. So I would say this is the bottom half then, maybe. But how do we get that? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, I've done it. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, this bloody wire. <laughs> Let's hold that there a minute. But look at that. So now, oh, 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 hang on, what's happened here? It's got stuck. It's got stuck, guys. 
So I'm, I get the, yeah, what it is, it's only going to go so much because these little panels here hold that shut. So you see it goes like that. So what will happen is that will go, you know, let the, you know, the things go across and then it does get a bit stuck and then you sort of have to like bend it back into shape. It needs a bit of, it's a bit of play going on there. Perhaps you might want to plane a little bit of that off because as you can see, um, uh, it does seem to get a little bit, it's this part here, I would say playing it off a bit, but that's your choice, but looking at that, that looks pretty damn cool, I love it, so that is that section here done there, as you can see, and um, that's that part done, so the next section what we have to do, obviously we've tested that it works, and we're going to do one last section for the minute, and that is to put in, we're going to get D1. So D1 is these very fancy, let's have a look here. So D1, let's see, that's, what one's this? A, ah, yes, we won't be able to do this yet because if I remember rightly, them fancy parts were, no, ignore me, I found them. <laughs> So this is D1, this is this very fancy piece, and this is going to go, so it's facing that way, I'm just checking if there's any burrs, I can see a bit there, yeah, um, and there's a little bit there, and a little bit there, and what's going to happen is this little part here, we want the longest side facing uh, sorry, facing that side here. And these little parts, you can see we've got one, two, and three. They're going to feed into these parts here. So you've, it's basically going to go something like that. You know, the more you see it done, the more you want to get more done. <laughs> but I'm a busy man, and uh, this will be the last little stage, I'm afraid, for this session. But we'll be doing more tomorrow, so... That is absolutely, I'm loving this. Look at that, oh wow. That is gorgeous. I'm a little bit concerned, because as you can see here, it's flush against here, but it's not flush against that. Now remember that we do get a post that goes through there, so I don't know if we put that in yet. There's no signs that it does go in yet, but um, it's getting there, guys. You can see it getting there. Oh, <laughs> looks so good. And then I think we'll just put in the other part and then we'll call that a session. So I've really enjoyed that. I think for me, as you know, with all builds and models that I do, I love seeing electrics and how they hide them, you know. And that for me is the cherry on the cake, the way that it concealed into that. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn that round like so. And this part's going to go exactly how we did the last time but obviously on the other side that's going to go into there and we'll pop that into there and there we go guys what happens in the next stage well you'll have to wait and see uh but as i said i'd highly recommend this if you like london and that get this guys because this is phenomenal the detail in this model is fantastic what i loved in this session is this seeing this concealed in there and i love the fact that they've put these pins to hold that wire down so it's getting there guys um i think what the issue is i mean i'm trying to figure out how this works because you've got that's obviously i think this is yeah i think what it is is this is the bit the other side of the tower because the cars pile up here i think and then obviously they've got they wait for there's traffic lights i think here or there and then obviously that's the walk bridge. So we'll have another, this is gonna, this is like the far end of, as you, you're sort of entering it sort of thing. And then you'll have another pillar somewhere up here with the other block at the other end. So that's basically how far it's gonna go. But that's the sort of base to it. Um, it's not that far off the ground, but I've loved that so far. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you want to get this kit for yourself, it is from a company called Rowlife. Um, and it's the tower bridge. Um, yeah, so that's how it's it's going to look. We've basically done the back end of it. Because um, as I said, the traffic lights, there is traffic lights. I think it's somewhere here because they have to put a light there.
to tell them that the bridge is going you know so it's not long before we get to power this baby up but uh on that note guys thanks so much for watching please remember to like share subscribe if you haven't done so already and um uh, tap the notification bell that will alert you to more videos coming up there is something very exciting coming to the channel what i hope to bring in the next week um which i think a lot of you will be pleased to see back um there's a few clues um but i've been working um behind the scenes to get this uh working again and um yeah what could it be um well you'll have to wait and see till next week but anyway that is a master of peace that is a beautiful, beautiful model. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.